All right, so they give us this lovely explicit formula. So if we want our 22nd term, we can just plug in 22 for our n and get our answer right away. You have to wade through some fractions, negative 5 halves plus 66 halves gives you 61 halves. Ta-da, that's your 22nd term. Uh, so when they give us an explicit formula, that just means you can plug in n and, and get your answer explicitly, quick, easy, bam. Uh, they wanted to know what your common difference was. Your common difference is the same thing as your slope. Uh, so the D, you kept adding three halves. If you were unsure, you could start writing out the terms of this sequence. You could plug in a one to get your first term, um, which we're going to need to do anyway, so let's do that. So if I plug in a one to get my first term, that's negative five halves plus three halves is negative two halves is negative one. And plug in a two to get my second term, so 3 halves times 2, so that's plus 6 halves, so that's 1 half. And then I can see that I am adding 3 halves, but if you don't believe that that pattern is going to keep going, you plug in a 3. So now you're taking negative 5 halves and you're adding 3 halves 3 times. So negative 5 plus 9 is uh, 4 halves. Uh, do that. The hardest part is adding fractions, but uh, six halves. Oh yeah, so I was adding, oh yeah, so from one half to four halves, I did add three halves. Okay, phew, okay. Everything is as it should be. That common difference is three halves. And so now for our recursive formula, so I went over the recursive formula in the last video, so we'll do it a little bit faster on this one. Uh, so recursive, you just say you can get any term you want by taking the previous term, so a sub n minus 1, and adding your common difference. So you just keep adding 3 halves. It's a very natural way to describe an arithmetic sequence because that's what an arithmetic sequence is. It's just adding the common difference to the previous term. It's kind of a scary way of writing the previous term, but it's okay. Don't be scared. It's fine. Um, and you always have to tell where to start, so you always have to give the first term. So I already plugged in a 1. I got that the very first term of this sequence was supposed to be 1. So those two pieces put together describe the sequence recursively, describe the sequence based on the previous term, and they give you a spot to start. And that's that.